In the rear part of the engine, underneath this plate, which is removable, this whole back area is a water tank and that is a reserve water that's pumped into the boiler to maintain the boiler water level when needed. This footstep on the side of the tender has a lift up lid with a strainer for adding water. The problem is that filling from here is slow and there's no way to see the water level while filling or when checking it later. Today, I am fixing both of those issues by adding a hatch to the tender lid, allowing for quick water level checks and much faster refilling. So I've gone ahead and removed the paint from what is the outside of the top of the water tank and then I've marked out a square or as close to a square so I can manage uh, which is just under five by five inches uh, I think that's probably about the right size this this plate is not structural so having a, a fairly large size opening won't hinder the strength and I think that gives a, a good capacity for getting water in and in the hole rather than missing if we're say pouring from a bucket or some other receptacle uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the cutting disc on this and get most of this cut out. I got as close as I dared to the lines with the angle grinder. I don't find it very easy to get super close, but the closer you get, the less filing here you have to do. So I filed this left hand edge down to the line. In this case, I'm just doing the other three now. It takes a fair amount of time, lots of patience, make sure you've got a good light. And uh, I use a, a sort of medium file, so I find it's too easy to take more than you need out with the, the coarse file and I go too far so the, the medium helps keep moving the lines. I cut out a square frame and secured it to the underside of the lid using JB Weld, then tacked it in place with a few welds while the epoxy set. This frame forms a ledge for the new hatch lid, allowing it to sit flush with the tender lid. Once everything was in place, I cleaned it up and prepared it for primer. Because of the cold temperatures, I used the hair dry between coats of paint before bringing it inside to dry, hoping that the paint would cure properly before freezing and flaking off. The top of the water tank sits on a ledge all the way around the tank, except at the front. As you can see here, the edge of the thin metal sits too low, which leaves a gap between the lid and the wall. When the water sloshes around, it spills over this edge and runs straight onto the boiler. To fix that, I made up a piece of angle from metal of the correct thickness, which I can now use to seal this gap properly. To strengthen up this welded homemade 90 degree angle, I put JB Weld down in the crack there. And I've just filed the overlap off. So I'm going to cut this to, to width and then I'll show you how it fits in the tender. So I've used some JB welds to fit that in place on the on the tender. So the uh, the lid is going to sit on this this back edge, these side edges here, and now there's a front edge. That's the right height for it to, to sit on. And I'm going to probably put some seal around that. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, just as a reminder before that was just the the vertical panel and the top of it was just um, the thickness of the piece of metal and I think it was 1.5 millimeters and it was um, a couple of millimeters short of the top meaning that at the front of the, the lid there was a two millimeter gap that water sloshed out of and ended up soaking the board back of the boiler so by putting this bar in this 90 degree angle um, it's glued on the inside um, and it's flush with the uh, with the ledges either side as uh, so I put that in it should mean that as the water sploshes up it has nowhere to go but back into the tank and with the lid sealed down I'm not sure if we're going to fix it down yet 
or just rely on the sealer. Um, although we're putting the access panel in this, it would be nice to still have a, be able to get it off to get this larger hole here for access for maintenance. Uh, we're thinking about putting uh, a filter on the pickup for the pump, so it'll just make it easier to take it off and clean it and replace it. Uh, so that's where we're at at the moment. So I'll leave that to dry for uh, at least 24 hours. It's a bit cold out here. Maybe leave it for a couple of days. And then I, I guess test fit the, the lid and make a handle for the, the insert and see how it looks. I have made a temporary handle on the lid using a bolt, but plan to replace this with something that looks better and most likely something made from brass. The top of the water tank still fits in place and the new hatch lid lifts in and out as expected. I have some more work to do in this area so we'll not fix this top down yet. If you're still watching, consider sticking around for more content and leave any thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.